Um, having established what the issues are, maybe uh, communication, th there's a breakdown in communication, the couple can no longer speak to each other for any length of time about anything without arguing. Um, so how would you, in that instant, how would you get them to begin to communicate where they wouldn't argue? Well, um, first of all, uh, I, having discussed with them in the counselling session, which is why counselling is so good, because the couple are there in a situation uh, where the, the counsellor can hear each one speak, so they get an opportunity to be heard. One of the problems is, when communication breaks down, um, is that people become very defensive. So they see everything as an attack. So as whenever you feel criticised and attacked, you go in the de into a defence, which is either withdrawal and silence, or, or shouting back or snapping back at the person. You communication stops totally, and of course you create an atmosphere where the, the children uh, are living in that atmosphere and constantly on a state of anxiety about what's going to happen. So that having got to that point um, within the counselling. Uh, we will establish what is causing, if anything, or maybe a series of things are causing the irritations between the couple. So you get, they get an opportunity to express, but within a situation which is safe. So we will learn about language, using language which isn't uh, critical or blaming or derogatory. Because one of the other problems that happens that in a couple relationship that very often when there's tension and anger, then they will start verbally abusing each other, if you like, using you know, language which is intimidating and frightening. So in the counselling session, uh, there is an opportunity to say what you like in, in a situation which is calm, knowing that they're going to have turns when they can speak and gradually build up a situation where they learn to be able to say what they want and learn not to react to it. Because a lot of problems between couples are through reaction to situations. And it's about also getting the respect back in the relationship. Um, and I would encourage them to, to, to when they're away from the counselling session, go back to a position of treating each other with respect. And, and it's important also to say that there is another form which is equally hard and causes as much damage as arguing um, volubly, and that's the, being silent. Yeah. And some people don't argue, they just become silent, sometimes for hours, days, weeks, mm. and that is equally damaging. So don't imagine uh, that by, by not expressing yourself, that you're not causing damage. Atmosphere can be caused by a, a lot of things. But if couples can learn to communicate, um, learn to show each other love and be loving to themselves and the children, to be respectful, and if there is a, an issue or a confrontation or a difficulty, that they learn to discuss it and work it through and learn to negotiate and compromise and give way to each other. Um, a mutual giving way, then the children will watch how issues are dealt with. They'll learn that you can deal with them.